So this is very last minute, just a little um, disclaimer, this video will be dealing with um, a lot, <laughs> but mostly with Emily Artfall's allegations towards Creepshow because those are the ones that I find more, um, alarming. <laughs> that is, that's how I would like to put them. <laughs> These allegations kind of need to be addressed and I would like to hope that Shannon would just come clean about everything, you know? And would just be- like, she can't come back from this, but since she dug herself into this enormous hole. But it would be nicer to see her come clean about everything instead of just hiding in a little shithole <laughs> away from all types of criticism. <laughs> so with Emily Artfall over here, she has made allegations towards Peepshow that she has been allegedly stalking her for about eight plus years. Yep. Her video mostly has to do with Creepshow's now husband, um, Anthony. Anthony Parker. And how he manipulated and abused her. And how Shannon at some point might have allegedly gotten involved in all of that, but I will say that it is all alleged so that I don't get sued. Please understand that. <laughs> but anyways, um, I never really enjoyed Creepshow Arts content other than background noise. I can't really see the point in really watching her videos. She doesn't bring anything really good to the table, um, other than just a few comments about it, other here and there, other than saying that it's bonkers or whatever, you know. And she's quick to cancel people for doing even less than she's done, which is kind of hypocritical, but I'm not gonna get into that. Um, so Creepshow Art, otherwise known as Shannon, is kind of a very public figure. Um, she's very well known in the art community, and personally, um, I never found her that interesting. I was at one point a fan of her, but I quickly dropped out of that because her content got extremely bare bones after a while and it just didn't, she just had so much negative energy to bring to the table and that's pretty much it. She would just be so pissed almost all the time and just, or just sad and I just didn't. It didn't feel like my type of content to usually hate, like, even, like, even when discussing a negative topic on some drama channels and stuff like that, and just commentary, and at least some of these commentary channels can at least lighten your mood a little bit, or at least comfort you, give a sense of comfort while discussing it to you, but Shannon never kind of gave that type of comfort and she just kind of, she just kind of lost her mind <laughs> and just kind of went crazy. <laughs> she went off, <laughs> basically. I didn't really like that about her. I didn't really like her personality that much, but I didn't question it and I just silently just like left her channel for a while and just watched other things like I eventually got into a lot of stuff like I I got more into Hopeless Peaches and uh, Twisted Disaster and 
ton of other art commentators too. But yeah, I just kind of left her channel and never looked back. I may have gotten recommended her videos, but I never I never watched them again. Even her latest upload got for some reason recommended to me but I never watched it because I didn't give a fuck and I didn't really care because ever since the Hopeless Peaches drama I haven't been able to look back at her content in a good light <laughs> and um, with all of this new stuff coming out about her it's not looking good and it makes me happy that I unsubscribe from her right after right after the Hopeless Peaches drama completely came to a close and Hopeless Peaches put out her we need to talk video um about the about her drama it was pretty crazy and now to hear the Emily Artfall situation is just even worse and I give my full support to Emily Artfall in this terrible situation. I really, really hope that she's doing well and nothing bad happens and that we love her and stuff like that, you know. Send support to all the people involved, okay? Now about Shannon, I would like to say that I think she needs a break from social media and to kind of get off the internet for a while kind of thing. It's like, oh also, uh, sorry for my, <laughs> sorry for my, sorry if I sound tired, I just got out of bed and, <sighs> yeah, oops, sorry. <sighs> I didn't sleep, <laughs> as you can tell, uh, probably going to edit out that yawn, but yeah, Creepshow Art just kinda needs to get off the internet for a while, but that doesn't mean that she shouldn't apologize for what she's done. She needs to at least write an apology to Emily Artfall if she really did those things and and she needs to and she does need to apologize for the lol cow posts because I'm sorry but I do not believe this I do not believe this Amy character and I do have to say this is alleged but I do believe that the person that posted those posts was Shannon and I think she knows who's who it is, you know. I feel like we all know who posts behind that lolcal screen. And Shannon, I'm looking at you. Come clean. So, I guess this ramble is pretty um out there, but um, as someone who was a fan of creep show art in the past, I. We'll say, um, she's always been this way. Emily Artful is true. In my opinion, her- I'm- in my opinion, I believe Emily Artful 100%. I believe it happened, but I will have to say it's alleged because of legal reasons that I can't go into in this video because, um, it'll make it a little bit too long and I don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but I may make a more in-depth video covering the situation um, in the future if this if this video does leave out some stuff, then yeah. But other than that, um, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say on the situation until further notice. I will be making a more scripted video on it, but as far as the information that's come out, um, it's pretty crazy. It's extremely crazy, I but I'm glad it's coming out and that we, we are finally getting a glance glimpse at 
who Shannon really is. Thank you all for watching. This was your girl, Candy, make coming at you with a new video. Sorry. Um, peace out, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what to- I don't really know how to end my videos, so yeah. <laughs> Have a great day, have a glass of water maybe, take a good old sip, and stay hydrated. Now I'm gonna go to bed, I'm gonna see you all later, <laughs> bye, <laughs> good night.